Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Another update of the Wellsimple TFSA trade portfolio. Always a mouthful, it is update number 114. Going into the weekend, markets have just closed. So as we get into the portfolio, you may see these numbers change a little bit. That's just the real simple doing this thing, reconciling at the end of the day. Uh, did a couple of purchases this week. So if you've been following the channel, you know I do my regular dollar cost averaging on Monday and to VDY and VFE and also the purpose cash fund. I did that on Tuesday. Obviously markets were closed on Monday, did that on Tuesday, the portfolio. And I also made a deposit today of hundred dollars into the TFSA and purchased five more shares of the yield Google share from per, uh, Eagle yield Google ETF from purpose. We'll get into that with the portfolio, but without further ado, let's just get into it. Here we are in the TFSA using the app as always. And as you can see down today in the past day, down a little bit, also had that hundred dollar deposit in there, which showing that so not not a great day on the market, not a great week altogether. But again, take it as some opportunity, dollar cost averaging and adding to one, one of the uh, positions this week. Let's get into it. We'll see how we're doing. We'll do all time instead of today's prices. That's what we always kind of want to look at on the portfolio, not worrying so much about the day to day, but all time. Let's go and see. Uh, bam, Brookfield Asset Management is it's doing OK. You know, uh, uh, let's go into all time. There we go. 9.72 percent in the green up six dollars and sixty nine cents. That one I just do a deposit once a month month on. So coming up to March 1st, we'll do another deposit into that. That's part of the StreamYard challenge that I have a video on on my channel that you can check out if you're interested in the one year saving challenge for that one. Uh, BEP.UN down 17.38%, $152.89 in the red on 20 shares of BEP. Uh, BN, that one again, that was within the spinoff to BAM as we go through, uh, down 2.26% all time, $1.60, almost 64 cents. Uh, won't add anything to that one, just letting that ride out. What I'm doing is putting it back into BAM. I think that's the last time I'll kind of update on that. I think people kind of know what is happening with that, uh, with that savings challenge. BTCY, 197 shares, down 17.57%, $136.43 in the red. Uh, CMC, this one's still not doing well, 150 shares, down big time on there, 95% almost. So, uh, Div though is doing good. That was recommended by the coffee crew, up 12.04%. Pretty happy about that one. And nice dividends going to be coming in soon next month for that one, which is awesome. Uh, up $36 in the green on our 100 shares of Div. ETC, 114 shares down 53.96%. That is the cryptocurrency ETF, a Bitcoin and Ethereum ETF does not pay a monthly dividend on that one. Uh, Green Lane Renewables down 59.29%, uh, $761.045. That one definitely dragging it down to the portfolio. Uh, PSA, uh, this one is the cash one, just under two shares. It's up a little bit, but that will fluctuate. Obviously, X dividend date coming up and it will come back down at the end of the month after the dividend is paid. Uh, RNW not doing that great this week. The earnings came out nah, not looking that great. I, I haven't added any more shares of RNW for the last little bit. I'm going to keep an eye on this one. Definitely. Uh, I'm, I'm focusing more on BEP.UN to kind of increase that position. If I'm able to, uh, we'll keep an eye on Transalta. The dividend's still coming through, which is good, but how long that will continue that I don't know. So keep an eye on that one, but down 33.68%, $341.91 cents on Transalta Renewables, 60 shares. Uh, SOT.UN, that's a slate office read, 140 shares, uh, down 10.05%, $69.32. Uh, TELUS, TELUS was up, TELUS is back down. Anyways, to, down 2.93% in our portfolio, just over 24 shares, uh, down $19.95 on the uh, TELUS shares. Uh, now Tesla, this is the CDR, this one doing pretty good, uh, up 19.48%, uh, $87.60 in the green, which is nice to see in Tesla. Uh, and VDY, the dollar cost averaging has been paying off with this one. We're up 4.99%. This is the one I purchase one share every week on Monday when the market is open, uh, up to almost 80 shares, just over uh, almost 80 shares, 79.838 shares, bit of fractional purchase in there, up 4.99%. $164.54. This is the, my kind of core position I want to keep adding to this year. That's the goal, uh, buying one share every every week on VDY. Uh, VFV down, again, this is kind of dollar cost averaging, showing that it's working, only down now 1.48%, uh, $54, just over $54 on 37.45 shares. So basically what I do with those weekly deposits, purchase a share of VDY, purchase a share of PSA, and then put the rest into a fractional purchase of VFV to start with. That's how I kind of spend that $100. 
and a couple of, of these newer positions in the portfolio. Uh, why uh, yield Google, why GOG, this is the purpose uh, ETF that um, uses uh, basically covered calls and uh, call strategies to produce a yield on Google. I have 18 shares, I added five shares of uh, this uh, today, this ETF. Uh, so now obviously bringing down, we're still down a little bit in the red, down 6.75%, $25.11. So I was able to kind of average down my cost that you want to add to this position throughout the year as well, when I'm able to, slowly but surely. Last but not least, the uh, Tesla yield, uh, 31 shares. This one's still doing pretty good. Obviously, if you've been following along the video and the channel, I was up quite substantially, a bit more than this, but riding this one out, holding this one, uh, dividends uh, are still great on this. So we'll be keeping this one for long term as well. Uh, up 43.88% on the portfolio, $221.71 in the green. And let's go right to the top and we'll see how the portfolio is doing in, in general. So on the day down $10.94, uh, $10.94, uh, 0.08 percent the past day on the week see not a great week down 1.66 percent uh 231 dollars and 79 cents past week past month up just a little bit almost kind of call this flat uh, up 0.10 percent 14 dollars and six cents on the three months up 3.27 percent 435 dollars and 81 cents in the green that's nice but then we're going to see some red here unfortunately down for the past year 7.36 percent 1092 dollars 59 cents and all time again down 9.36 percent all time in the portfolio of the tfsa fourteen hundred and twenty dollars and fifteen cents all right now this is the time let me know in the comments down below what you per did you purchase anything this week did you sell anything this week it's always interesting to hear what others are doing with their portfolios for me basically it's just slow and steady dollar cost averaging adding a little bit to some of the positions i can when i can but sticking with my plan dollar cost averaging that hundred dollars a week carrying that forward for the rest of the year Thanks for watching everybody. Before we go, I just want to thank everybody that's been following on the channel. I announced it on the live stream this morning that the channel is now monetized. So you're going to see some ads on these, on these uh, videos from now on, but I do appreciate everybody that is watching and supporting the channel on the, watching the videos, joining us on the live streams. It really is uh, really appreciated. I thank you all for your, your views and likes, subscribes, all that good YouTube stuff. We're gonna keep carrying on and doing live streams Monday to Friday, eight o'clock uh, Pacific time to about 8.45. If you haven't grabbed a live stream, been able to join a live stream, the replays are always on the channel, but if you can join us live, hey, we have a lot of fun. The coffee crew is there and it's a great conversation to start the day. That's all everybody. It is Friday, TGIF. We will see you in the next video.